Welcome everyone. We have completed this first week's worth of work and we've done a project setup from the beginning and we can see how involved that is and of course have started modeling a building. However, now what are we going to do with this drawing? We need to get it outside of Revit so that other people can see it, utilize it, redline it, uh, mark it up and do whatever they need to. So how do we print? So we're clearly going to be using PDFs. Um, how we print is I'm going to come over to Final or File, and in the drop-down box we have Print. So I can do Print Preview, Batch Print, Print Setup, all these things. I'm going to navigate right to Print and click on that, and I get a, a dialog box. We're going to be familiar with a number of these settings from AutoCAD, but of course the user interface and the names are all going to be different. So up top here, I am going to select a different printer. I have Bluebeam installed, and I'll choose Bluebeam PDF. You also could choose Microsoft PDF. You are going to find some limits with that. Um, it does not have all of the paper sizes that are needed for drafting available to it. You could choose PDF Report Writer, which I believe is a free download. And there's some other ones out there as well. I think PDF Creator is another free download. So I'm going to choose Bluebeam. And then the question over here in the page or print range is I have to answer to Revit, what do I want to print? So I want to print a number of sheets. So I'm going to collect or select this bottom radio button. And then I'm going to ask to select exactly what views and sheets I want to print. I get an additional dialog box. I very rarely am ever going to want to print individual views. I'm only interested in printing sheets. I can simplify this selection by unchecking views. We only have one sheet um, created so far in this project, so I'm just going to check it and say that's what I want to print. Do I want to save these settings for a future use in Revit? I'm going to select no, because as I move through my project, I'm always going to be selecting different sheets that I want to print. And unfortunately, I do not know how to avoid having this dialog box come up every time. So I'm going to click no. And now I need to tell Revit how to print what I want to print. So under my options area, I'm going to choose Setup, get another dialog box. And here, I need to choose what size of paper I want to print on. The default Revit title block is a size called Architectural E1. It's 30 inches by 42 inches. So I'm going to choose that paper size. And I'm going to leave my quality as high, and I'm going to change from color to grayscale. Um, there are times where I may have color elements in the model or in the drawing views, but I absolutely, when it comes to technical documentation, there are very few exceptions. Uh, color is not an option. Um, shades of gray is. So I always choose grayscale. I'm going to click OK on this setup area and then I have to decide whether I want to combine the multiple sheets that I'm going to print into a single file and if I am printing multiple sheets this would normally be the option I would choose or I can print each sheet and view as a separate file probably not the normal option I would choose. However, here there is only one sheet, so this option would be fine. I'm going to click OK, and it's asking me, hey, do you really want this bottom option here? Because it's not very normally selected. Do I wish to continue? I'll answer yes. And my Revit printer is going to ask me where do I want to save my file. 
right here's where I'm going to navigate to my hard drive. You're going to navigate to wherever you're saving files. So College of Western Idaho, 22 Spring, 122, Week 1, blah, 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 blah. I can rename it here, and I'll click Save. And on my desktop, uh, Bluebeam Review is going to open and show me the printed file. And there it is. So from here, I can just close this. It's already saved. If I bring up my Windows Explorer and navigate again to the hard drive, looking at 22 Spring, 122, I can see in week one that I have just saved this drafting 122 sheet A101 week one, and here's what I just saved out of the Revit print option. So um, this is what you're going to be submitting into Blackboard as an assignment. Hope this is helpful and look forward to week two. Welcome back.